Hey guys, Clement with ATS. I'm super excited to bring our new VNT turbocharger to you. The specific model is the Ford 67. You know, the Power Stroke has been just a rivalry in the diesel industry since 2011. You know, and specifically 11 to 16, 11 to 14 on the half tons, or the three quarter tons, excuse me, has been a pretty big problem because of the turbo design. So 11 to 14, they put a pretty small turbo in these trucks. And, you know, of course, obviously, you know, they were kind of fighting through the emission system and the after treatment system. So there wasn't a ton of airflow. And contrary to belief, you know, the 6.7 came out in 11 and it's still produced today in 23 or 24. Um, and, you know, the, the everything's kind of changed a little bit, but the basic engine concept has been very, very similar. But the difference is, is the fueling on these trucks isn't, you know, it has increased. I've increased power levels. Well, the 11 to 14 models and the 11 to 16 cabin chassis models, they had a small turbo. You know, this is your 11 to 16 cabin chassis. And then this is your 11 to 14 uh, twin scroll, which they were, they were really small. I mean, it was a, it was a double back compressor wheel. So kind of different technology, but the big problem was, is this turbine wheel, this guy that they're using is a ball bearing design and it doesn't just doesn't hold up well. It doesn't take impact loads very well. It, it just, it doesn't live. And the issue has been on all of these early Ford six sevens is they don't have the stability. They don't have the reliability. So no matter what you do, you know, us or anybody else, when you're rebuilding or trying to build a turbo that's going to live on an early Ford 6.7, they just don't work. I mean, you end up with this kind of thing, right? This is a one of the cabin chassis turbos that we have here. This is a core that comes in. They just constantly blow up, you know, and it's mainly because of this bearing structure. They can't be really, really, be really redesigned and if you start increasing power a little bit or doing heavy towing, you know, extreme drivability, they just blow up. They just don't work. So we've gone through years and years and years of trying to make these turbos work. And, you know, industry doesn't have a fix. Well, you know, we kind of stepped back and identified, you know, we have a real issue here that we're, we, we need a turbo. So we designed a turbo from scratch that is we are very proud to release as the VNT Turbo. Um, our VFR series that has VNT technology that is a true drop in replacement for the early model Fords. And what you'll see here, this is your cabin chassis, um, very similar to the 11 to 14, this is 11 to 16, the 11 to 14 twin scroll. See how it's kind of lower set on the, on the base. This is our drop in replacement. This is your 15 model. Well, Everybody has taken like the 15 and dropped it in. You change the up pipes, you, um, you know, change the intake pipe, try to make it work. Well, when the trucks are, are tuned from the aftermarket, you know, in other words, if, you know, you whip everything off, then these turbochargers kind of work. In our environment where everything is stock as far as the vehicle goes and it's emissions on truck and you have your after treatment system and everything's functional, these turbos do not work. This is your 15 to current 15 to 17 turbo basically that that pretty much the industry has kind of moved to for the early trucks the problem is that turbo is too big i mean you can clearly see how big this turbo is not just where it's sitting but the actual physical wheel size so they just don't really work so so all of the emissions on even you know emissions on soccer emissions on performance turbos that you put in that place, you pretty much have to take like a factory turbo and, and modify it, so to say. And that's the only ones that kind of work. Well, that's not okay. I mean, when we look at this is like, we need something that is designed specifically for this truck that is going to be reliable, that hits all the bullet points. Well, guess what? After almost five years, we have the turbo. This is our VFR with the VNT technology and we'll go into, I'll break every single part of it down. This is 100% drop-in. When I say 100% drop-in, that doesn't mean it just bolts in. It bolts in, but it also works on a factory calibration, which means you do not have to make any modifications. So if you have a truck that has, you know, 80 or 200, 300,000 miles on it, and you love the truck, you love the performance of it, you love the reliability of it, except for the turbo blowing up, this is the fix. So what we have done we have completely designed a turbo from scratch. And when I say from scratch, I mean like we started with like the dream chess. We decided what is the best technology that we can put into a turbo? 
Well, one, you're going to get away from the bearing construction, right? Because this thing's floating around. And if you look at all that weight that's kind of hanging on the end of it, this guy flops around and they end up with this. So first thing we have to do is we go to a very strong rotor system, which is this guy. So it's a double journal bearing that essentially is bulletproof. I mean, you can do anything to this turbo you want. And I'm saying you do anything you want to it. You can increase the fuel. You can do whatever you want. You're not going to hurt this guy because it is just, it is bulletproof. This is essentially an Aurora 3000 that we have turned into a VNT. And we've gotten so many years of just proven technology. I mean, you're talking like pushing these things well beyond 500 horsepower and they live, they work, they don't break. So I'm not concerned about that. We've also upgraded the turbine wheel technology. So take a look at the turbine wheel. I mean, you could just kind of get a, get an idea, right? Looking at the bearing structure, what you have there, and then the compressor section, you know, this is something, this is, this is when we design a turbo, we design this turbo to work within the airflow characteristics of the factory calibration. And that means that when you have a drop in turbo, you drop it in, you don't want to have to be changing things around. It needs to work on a factory calibration, which means the after treatment system is going to work. Your DPS not going to sit load. It's going to have great response. And of course, with this setup, it's going to have incredible reliability. And that's number one, right? We have a couple of things. We have reliability, you have performance, you have efficiency. What's most important to you? To me, it's reliability. Number two is efficiency. Number three is performance. This guy gives it all, but perform but reliability is number one. And that's why we've designed the VF VFR series the way we have. Now, talking about moving into the, the compressor section a little bit, we've taken the compressor section off our Aurora 3000, which is, which is just years of development getting our eight, eight by eight um, compressor wheel, the velocity stack um, compressor section, which we've worked years and years and years on. All this technology is kind of filtered down from the days of racing and more today is like efficiency and, and how, how, how efficient you can compress that air and get that air out of the compressor housing. And, and essentially that's density, that's, that's cool air, right? So we took that technology and we and we mold it into this turbo and then we look at the turbine section well this is what you were dealing with on this guy this is what you're dealing with on ours like kind of get an idea i mean the vein pack has been incredibly dialed into you know what this vehicle will support so using using this vein pack with our mixed flow turbine wheel you know gives you just the optimal spool up and not only that but we've actually increased the exhaust braking a little bit now I know that the 11 to 16 or 11 to 14 trucks don't have an exhaust brake, but you can add an exhaust brake in this turbo. The way we designed it is actually will squeeze up tighter. So it will actually turn into an exhaust brake if you add on our, our IntelliBoost module, which you can add on top of the turbo. And then that gives you additional control of the turbo, but it also gives you an exhaust brake. So the, again, this turbo will work 100% drop in replacement. I mean, it all bolts in factory calibration. You add the IntelliBoost, then it gives us more ability in the turbine section so we can turn this into an exhaust brake turbo, which is a nice little added benefit. Um, and then as we move into the actual bearing housing, the bearing construction, you know, it's full hydraulic, obviously, but it's lower down. So you, so you can kind of see the footprint, right? This is the upgrade that everybody's been tr trying to do that, that doesn't really work. You kind of get an idea of the airflow. So the airflow characteristics are a little bit more like the factory um, turbo, but it will support, you know, that 550 plus horsepower, primarily because you have the reliability of it. So the turbine wheel, the entire configuration, the compressor section, all of it we've designed to give you optimal performance and, and all the reliability. That's really what's driven, you know, ATS to build a turbo that is the very best technology that is a drop-in replacement that works in a factory calibration. Oh, and by the way, it works amazing with an aftermarket calibration because this guy will make horsepower. I mean, it has it has airflow and it has durability. This is like your your little rock star. I mean, this is this this is the Olympic guy right here. You know, it's 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 awesome. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking for a turbo that's going to be the last turbo you buy for this thing that is going to give you the reliability, that's going to give you the performance this is the turbo so check us out at atsdiesel.com or call one of our salespeople. we'll be lovely to help you out these guys are in stock and they're ready to go